Uh, in the kitchen now with Roxanne from Springside Cheese up in the Oconto area. Good morning. Great Good to morning. see you. Thank you for having me back again. We love your cheese. Uh, Springside sponsors the cheese on our show. So when we use cheese, that's where it comes from. Um, it's the most fabulous cheese and we love supporting local farmers, local growers, and that's what you guys are all about, right? Yep, that's what we're all about. We have all our family farms and that's where we get the milk for all our cheese. Very, very cool. And today we're going to talk about um, cheese platters at those summer parties um, and how you can put one together and really look like a rock star. Now, if you uh, don't want to, you can give them a call and they'll put a wonderful platter together for you. But if you want to pick up the cheese yourself at Springside and chop it up yourself and, and do it, um, they always look so pretty when you pick them up. So Roxanne's going to show us how our cheese curries can look like theirs, uh, the experts. So, right. all right, let's walk us through here. Okay, what we do is we have four different kinds of cheese. Normally, of course, we'll do anything you want. Um, we usually try and go with um, two kind of yellow cheese and two kind of white cheese just to make it look nice and professional. So you start with your first cheese here. Which is what kind? We have baby Swiss. Okay. And I have something different on every single cheese on each tray here, so. We'll let you um, talk while you're doing here because um, basically you're kind of fanning them out. Yes, yep. Now, one of the cool things about you guys is all the different flavors of the cheeses that you do. Um, and so you can really make these cheese platters pretty cool. I love and am addicted to your leek, uh, morel mushroom and leek Yes, in which I do have some on this tray up here, um, which this tray we cubed. And you know, it's all what you want. Mm -hmm. However, whatever's the easiest for your party is what we'll do. And, and maybe you want to do a couple of them, a couple of different looks, right. you know, in different areas right. uh, with different cheeses. So um, some of the different flavors they do. So this is the Swiss. Now we're putting on a, what is this, Kojak? This is, yep, this is Combo, Colby and Monterey Jack. Okay. I'm real excited because it looks like you brought another cheese that I have not tried along. Um, tell us about this. Is this olive cheese? Yes, this is our um, white cheddar with green and black olives. Mm. Um, and last year we won um, an award at the American Cheese Society on that cheese. Mm. So, and it's gone over quite well since then. And that's fun to put on your cheese platter, some of these different cheeses. If for people who like a little spice, you have a bunch of different cheeses with some kick to them. What yes, are some of those? Yes, we do. Um, we have our two alarm and three alarm combo, which is just a different array of peppers. We also have a um, Caribbean red hot Monterey Jack, mm. which, um, is going over quite well. We have our habanero. We are making some pepper cheese, a uh, pepper that we get from Colorado called the Pantaleo Green. Um, that will be coming soon. Oh, when it comes so, out, you'll have to let us know. Yeah, I bet it would make a wonderful grilled cheese. Yes. Ooh. So we're in, I believe that we are in the stages of creating another hot cheese too. So, but I don't want to give too much away on okay, that yet. Okay, I understand. I get until it. Until we're all, all set. Now, don't you guys do, there's a beer cheese I know we've done on the show before. Yep, beer tried cheddar. That one. Beer yep. cheddar. That's also a, a big seller of ours. Really People really like that. Yeah. Fun yep. flavors. And then all sorts of different aged cheddars too. So, yes. you know, yes. you can really have fun with this. So you can see how this is coming along. Fresh cheese curds, both at the, at the, at the plant and then you have a store too, correct? Yes, a store on the highway um, in Styles, And we have the fresh cheese curds delivered there daily also. Or you can actually come to the plant yourself and you've got the you've yes. got a cheese store right there. Yes. So. And we also have viewing windows um, at the at the store and at the plant. And we do do tours. If you call ahead of time, we have someone who will walk you through the process of our cheese making and it's as so we're cool doing it. cool to see. If you've never seen that or you know, want to take the kids to kind of get a peek and then have some great Wisconsin cheese after. Yes. Um, I think that a lot of us take it for granted that uh, you know, this is pretty special stuff happening here and, and it's so neat. I've been there when the milk comes in and it's just, yes. you know, the same cheese makers have been at your, you know, doing their thing for a long, long yes. time. Yes, yes. The head cheese maker has, I, he's been running it for 37 years now. Wow. So, they know yes. what they're doing, in other words. So now what you would do is you could take the rest of the cheese and make another double layer. Okay. Or if you wanted to wait and set this out, because you really want it to be room temperature when you serve it. Okay. You could then put in your curds, bag up the rest of your cheese and just wait. Refill so it later. If yeah. it doesn't go, at least this isn't sitting out all day getting warm. Good idea. Good so, idea. So we're putting um, fresh cheese curds in the middle. You could also do the sausage. Um, yep. And if you don't 
uh, think that you can handle this, although you made it look pretty easy, Roxanne. I know, I, and I did it a little quick. Normally it's a little bit, you know, we take our time and we get it, you know, nice and straight. It looks and beautiful. Good. It looks beautiful. Good. People want to get a hold of you and want to order a cheese platter or try some of your wonderful, this award-winning olive cheese or the morel uh, leek cheese. How can they find you? Um, they can find us on Facebook and also, you know, we definitely take orders over the phone. So go ahead, give us a call. We like 24 hours advance for our cheese trays just so that we have enough time to get everything in order. Springside Cheese. Yes. In Oconto area. Styles, the stores and styles too if you want to stop by. Great stuff. And we also have a store in Colorado that also does cheese trays. All right. Well, if you so, know anybody in Colorado who wants yes. some Wisconsin cheese, thanks so much. Thank you. Good to see you. We'll be back. Stay with us.